Example one, surface area of a square base pyramid. Find the surface area of the square base pyramid shown. So here, it's gonna be useful to think about the net of the shape. What I mean by that is we can draw a diagram like this, which you can think of if you were doing some origami and wanted to make a square base pyramid, this is the shape that you would cut out of the paper and fold up to make this 3D shape. So you can see it's split into five parts, a square in the middle, and then four triangles around the outside, and we know that the triangles are all completely identical here. So focusing on the square in the middle, we know that it's five wide, so the area of that will be five squared, which is 25. Then the triangle's a little bit harder, but still not too bad. We know that it's five wide and then eight tall, because that's labeled on the diagram. Five times eight, is 40, but remember when you're working out a triangle, you have to half it, so 40 divided by two, or I suppose times by a half, whatever you want to do, is 20. So the area of one of these triangles is 20, but we know they're all the same, so we know they're all 20. So the total surface area here, we need to add all these up. So we do 25 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20. Add all of that up and you end up with 105. And then here, notice everything's in centimeters. So our final answer, because it's an area, will be in centimeters squared. Example two, surface area of a cylinder. Find the surface area of the cylinder, giving your answer to four significant figures. So here, remember we can split a cylinder up into its individual parts, two circles, at one at either end, one at this end, one we can see here, and then a rectangle in the middle that gets rolled up to make it into a tube for the middle part. So recall that the formula for the area of a cylinder, the surface area of a cylinder, sorry, would be pi r squared, two lots of that because there's two circles, plus two pi r h. 2 pi r h because the width of the rectangle is 2 pi r because remember it has to go around the circumference of the circle and then h because that's the height, in this case 25 millimeters of the cylinder if you stood it up. So we need the radius, we don't have that yet and we need the height, we do have that, that's 25. The radius, remember, is just half of the diameter and in this case the diameter is 12. So I can do 12 divided by two that's six, and then just sub everything in. So we'll have two times pi times six squared plus two times pi times six times 25. Then you could tidy this up a little bit. So what I mean by that is six squared is 36 times by two, so that's 72 pi plus Six times 25, that's 150, times two is 300. So it's 72 pi plus 300 pi, so 372 pi. But notice here, it doesn't ask you to leave your answer in terms of pi, it asks you to give your answer to four significant figures. So if you stick this in your calculator, you will get 1,169 millimeters squared to four significant figures. Notice millimeters because those are the units used on the question. Don't just aimlessly write down centimeters or meters, etc. Make sure you're using the ones that are in the question and don't forget the squared because it's a surface area, not a length. Example three, surface area of a cone. Find the surface area of the cone shown. So recall that the, the formula for the surface area of a cone is pi r squared plus pi r l because pi r squared is the area of the circle on the bottom. Pi r l is the rest of the cone. So here we can just sub in everything that we know and nicely we don't need to do any messing around before we can sub it in. We know that the radius is 40 and we know that this slant height is 55. So it's gonna be pi times 40 squared plus pi times 40 times 55. Okay, so we could tidy this up a little bit, but it doesn't specify what it wants you to give the answer in terms of, you could give it in terms of pi, you could give it as an exact number. Well, let's tidy it up a little bit. We'll have 1600 pi because 40 squared is 1600 plus 40 times 55. So that's 2200 pi. So in total, that's 3800 pi. You can stick this in your calculator now and we'll give it to a sensible number of decimal places. 
and this gives you 11,938 and then it's 0 0.05 so we'll call it 0 0.1. Then some units, this is in centimetres, this is in centimetres so our final answer is in centimetres squared because it's an area. Example 4, surface area of a sphere. A sphere with surface area 1,025 metres squared is shown. Work out the length of the radius. Give your answer to two significant figures. This one's a little bit tricky because we're working backwards. We know that the formula for the area of a sphere, surface area of a sphere, is 4 pi r squared. But we already know the surface area. We want to know the radius. So let's set this equal to what we know the surface area is. 1,025. Now, it's just a process of working backwards. So the first step, for example, we could divide by four, and that would leave us with pi r squared is 1,025 divided by four, which if you put this in your calculator, you would get 256.25. Then we could isolate r squared by dividing by pi. So r squared will be 256.25 divided by pi. Again, putting this in your calculator, make sure you give enough decimal places here so that we're not rounding too early and creating errors. So let's say 81.5669, and it does carry on because of course you're dividing by an irrational number. And then finally, we've got r squared, but we want r, so we need to square root this number. So it's the square root of 81.566. 9, make sure the, the square root covers the whole number. That will give us r, and sticking that in your calculator, you will get 9.0314, and then it does carry on. However, we want two significant figures, so there's the first one, there's the second one, so it's going to be 9 point, and then just check whether 3 rounds up or down. Well, 3 rounds down, so it's going to be 9.0. And then the units, well, this is in meters squared. This is a length, remember, because we're talking about the radius. So it's just going to be meters rather than meters squared. And this is the final answer to two significant figures.